There we go. Look at this nice redfish. I kind of saw him going at the edge of the grass. There we are. Tiny little lure right there. I'm gonna let this guy go. He's gonna fight another day. Before we go any further, let's go back to the start and then we'll continue fishing. Okay, uh, launching from a new spot today. Never fished from here out of my kayak before and uh, today's that day. Always wanted to do it. There's a couple of marsh systems in Moses Lake, which is right in front of us, and I've always wanted to do it. We're about to leave the safety of this little channel right here where we launched, and it's uh, it's about to get pretty brutal, so I may have to put that jacket on. Boy, that was brutal, and I'm freezing now. Pants are soaking wet. I wish I would have checked the conditions before coming out here. I gotta go inside, retreat into the grass, to stay protected from the wind and kind of dry off. Air temperature 55 degrees for those of y'all that are wondering. The water is 59 degrees and I'm soaked. It is cold. 12 knot winds. dude boy these guys are supercharged in this cold water got a nice mid slot right here on our hands goodness come on bro there we go look at this nice redfish why it took us a little while to get him in. We got a big boy. Nice big old fat petunia. Man oh man look at that fella. Nice fat redfish. Quickly show y'all what we got him on. We got it right on the tongue. There we are. Tiny little lure right there. Big, huge redfish, tiny lure. Oh boy, oh boy. What an amazing fight. All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. He's gonna fight another day. Oh my gosh. Boy, he crushed this tiny little lure right here. That's a flats bug from Bugs Fishing. Like I said, it is very cold out here. You got some redfish cruising the grass line. I saw a black drum right over there. Massive fella and uh, he wanted nothing to do with my lure but uh, still tried to cast at him and couldn't get the fella to bite so then i threw some pro cure which we got right here shrimp scent still didn't want or well, actually 
I put the procure on, but the guy disappeared, so I didn't really get to cast to him and see if he was going to eat it since it smelled like shrimp. Oh, let's keep cruising the bank line. Nice little puller. This guy caught it on the run. Thought I had a, a nice sized trout right there for a second. All these reds are multi spotters. See you later, guy. There's a thump, and we miss. time buddy oh yeah all right hit spot lock I knew I had felt something go after my lure and it just thumped it and set the hook this time around and here we are a nice slot redfish boy these guys are really supercharged that water starts getting cold it's got a lot of oxygen in it still oh man these guys can pull they pull really hard there we are gorgeous That hook is in there. Yeah, I know it hurts. Let's go inside there. You're gonna have to go down there and rub some mud in it. Oh my gosh. We must be in a small school of them. I think they're going to be belly in the mud because this guy just came up and punched my lure. Goodness gracious. Like he just came up from down there and exploded on it. I'm sorry, I know it hurts. Come on, give me a break. All right, dude. Icicle pop. Eh, I think it'll last. Let's see if there's going to be any more down there. I'm just very curious to see if we are indeed in a school of them. I'll let go all the way down to the bottom and slowly push it back through and hopefully we get tagged by another one. Oh 
Okay, there we go. First time ever using this lure right here. See if we can bounce the bottom and it will still attract those redfish. These grass points, all of them, are holding fish. I thought we were in a school of them at the other one, but I think they're just posted up. The wind is coming straight at us, and these guys are all posted up right here in between all these little openings on the grass. That answers the question if a redfish was still going to bite this different colored uh, darker lure. Nice. All I'm doing is slowly going from little grass island to grass island, making sure I cast each point, each little end of them, and see if we can get something. Nice. Little guy double pumped it. It's like tap, tap. There's my last cast with this lure. We made it to the uh, water break, which is right out in the front of this entire, kind of like a marsh system. It's like an eco, a small ecosystem. Whoever paid to put this here, I don't know if it was the state or the city. My guess is the state. Um, it's really nice. It all looks the same. Just a whole string of grass islands. And I mean, it's really nice though. There's a lot of reds inside here. But what I'm going to do is fish the entrance of the water break with the shrimp lure and see if we can get some speckled trout. that was something but I didn't feel a bite just tension on my twitch surely I didn't hit the bottom it can't be that shallow right there yeah we're getting hit something small though Trying to be sneaky on me. <laughs> Please be a speckled trout. Another redfish. Ready, settle down. Okay, settle down. Nice little bronze with the blue tail. 
This is one of my favorite lures to use and it's a shame because I don't think they're gonna sell them anymore. There we go. Nice little weedless one right there. If I do happen to find some inside the uh, like sporting goods store, then we'll definitely mention them. It will be linked in my video description down below. My gosh, that's number two in a row. Oh, is that the trout? That is the trout. It's got to be a trout. Come on. Please don't be a red. No, it's so red. Bro. You had me fooled. Another one is almost like cookie cutter. There we go. Yeah, the uh, the lures will be linked down below. The rod that we're using is a seven foot ultralight from uh, Old 18 Outfitters. It's their buoyancy series. What is it? <laughs> it's another redfish. I made the uh, the long trek across the lake to come to an area, another area that looks like a marsh system as well. All right, let's get this guy off. Get him off the hook and then we'll, uh... oh my gosh, come on, dude. There we are. Nice. Every redfish has got multiple spots. So yeah, we just uh, went completely across the lake to come to this marsh area. And I was like, it looks like a bunch of the other marsh systems that I fish. And I do have true protection from the wind because the grass is just crazy tall. I really want to get back here to see if there's going to be any redfish kind of like schooling in the area. There is a lot of bait out here. You got shrimp popping all up and down the surface. And then there's a lot of bait fish, mullet. I have pushed back as far as I can go and I haven't seen anything. It's very shallow back here as well. Tide is still outgoing, so I don't know how long I'm gonna be back here because I don't wanna get left high and dry. I may just push a little bit further until I can find a very distinct back pond. And maybe we get lucky with a, a redfish being back here, but I'm not gonna hold my breath on it being that I didn't see anything at all. So yeah, there goes the update. It was a big gamble and I was hoping that it would pay off, but I don't think so. Oh, look at that. That is the first red that I have seen. I don't know that he completely got spooked. I'm gonna see if we can still, oh, look at that, another one. Wow, two of them. Oh man, that's what happens whenever you don't think there's gonna be anything back here. You got two overslot reds. I'm gonna stand up. The water is so shallow that you can you can really get a good look at them. All right, I see something right over there, but I don't know if that's the red. It doesn't look like one. Oh, this wind. Oh, there he is right there. Got 
got you, buddy. Boy, he's a big fella. He could be the same guy that we just saw, one of the two that we just saw. He's a big guy. <laughs> oh, it paid off coming in here. It is crazy shallow. So get out from the kayak. He's over here. Bro, get out. Oh my gosh. Alright. Oh, look at that. He is an overslot. Has to be one of the ones that I saw earlier that I just come right up on and then they just got out of dodge really quick oh, there we are oh my gosh about 29 inches 30 something like that that shrimp lure very very good looking redfish here we go Uh, we'll see you later, dude. There we are. <laughs> Boy, those, those fish are so amazing. Oh. If we get lucky, we can catch that other one. This whole marsh system is just, it's filled with redfish. I think I have enough time to catch maybe one more fish and I got to get out of here. I'm going to end up having to push my kayak or pull my kayak. I ain't going to push it. I have to pull it through all this soft mud and that is going to be absolutely nasty. I always get the questions. Um, is that a DIY push pole? It is. It's a power pole micro spike, the heavy duty one, which they don't make anymore. At least I haven't seen them try to sell it. But that's the heavy duty one, and it's cut in half. And all I did was put some duct tape and then like a little baseball bat grip on it. There goes our fella right over here. You can't see him because of the glare from the sun, but that's what they look like whenever they're out here and the water is so shallow and they got no choice but to show their back and tail. See you later, dude. It was nice playing with you. If we get lucky, we can squeeze right through there and then connect right back up to the bayou. I don't know, man. That's going to be very, very tough to do. Let's see. I hope I can squeeze this kayak through here. We need four inches of water. And if we have that, then we can get through. I should have put this away. we go I'm gonna need the this is a hollow what do you call it push pole you don't watch out you'll snap it this one is solid they're both made out of fiberglass but 
the solid one can handle a whole heck of a lot more. All right, let's go to the front. We step over here and we lift the rear. Man. <sighs> yeah, the rear is completely in the air. Why do I do this to myself, y'all? And, and I honestly don't even know if it's gonna be open over there. Yeah, I think I, I done made a big old mistake. Right underneath me, <laughs> right underneath me is the Kai. Oh, well, duh. You ain't never gonna get through like that, buddy. Get out from there. Okay, now let's see if we can get through. Oh, that's a lot easier. Sabotaging myself. Oh, there we go. There we go. Whew, man. It's another thing about this marsh mud. It's got that sulf sulfur type Just let me get through this. The water is kind of pushing through, so I do think I will be able to get through because the tide is like pulling the water out. Oh man, here we go again. Probably already spooked whatever's gonna be out here as well. Marsh fishing is some dirty business. Whoa, that guy scared the crap out of me. I'm over here staring off to this deeper section and that's where I should have been paying attention in the shallow stuff. I'm full speed ahead trying to hurry up and get out of this uh, shallow area back into the main lake and then we'll make our way back to the ramp so that's going to do it for this one y'all. Oh look at this guy. Dang it. There we go again. I just spooked that fella. He's a big one too. Wow. <laughs> it just goes to show how many redfish there are in these marsh systems. But I hope y'all had a great time watching the video. And if you did, don't forget to click that thumbs up button. Again, all my gear, almost all of it, there goes another one. That could be the same fella. I don't know if he's spooked. Let's see. No, he's spooked. Um, the, the bulk of my gear is going to be listed in my video description, so go down there. If you go to Amazon and you make a purchase, then the channel does earn a small commission, so kind of helps us out with like fuel to go back and forth to the coast. And uh, I, I do appreciate all y'all's support. Wow, what an amazing day out here. Thank y'all so much. And until next time, tight lines, everyone.